Welcome to the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. I'm Meg Storms. And I'm Jason Stradwick. Today we are west on the Yellowhead at the Cougar Creek Golf Resort. One of Alberta's finest challenges. It's nestled in a natural forest on rolling terrain. This course has a ton of hazards, including water on almost every hole. Our guest today recently made Canadian motorsports history when he lapped the entire field to win the NASCAR Canadian Tire Series Leland Industries 300. Race car driver, Alex Tagliani. Anybody seen Alex? And what time is this guy supposed to be here at? It's unbelievable. Please be on time. Whoa! <laughs> Showing up in style. Oh my God! That's how you make an entrance. I love it. You win for best entrance of the show by far of the series. Well, we have to thank uh, you know Colin from Cantork uh, to lend us his uh, two-seater car for this. <laughs> well, we'll go we'll go ripping around in this later for some bloopers. How about that? That'd be great. <laughs> We're going to test your golf skills today. We know that you're a hell of a driver. Let's see how you can golf. We're going to go out to number 16 here at Cougar Creek and meet up with head golf professional Ryan Doucette. He's going to start us off with a tip. It is now time for the pro tip brought to you by ATB Financial. And we find ourselves on the 16th hole in the trees. Ryan, what have you got for us? Well, we're going to work today on the uh, on a trouble shot, kind of a chip out from the trees, uh, try to advance that ball back into play and uh, hopefully try and make a par. So for this shot here, uh, our main objective is going to be to get that golf ball back into play. We have a couple of uh, couple of trees here that we need to try to avoid. So normally what I recommend using is something with very little, very little loft. I'm using a five iron here. My main goal is to try and advance that ball 140, 150 yards back into play. Uh, we're playing a par five here, so it'll give us a chance hopefully to maybe make a birdie or par at worst. So first thing we want to do is make sure that we are gripping down on that golf club. Making that golf club a little bit shorter in our hands is going to help us control uh, this shot a little bit better. Uh, one of the main things you want to think about is really holding off your finish and keeping that golf club low. What that's going to do is create a much lower trajectory and should be able to keep it underneath these limbs. The other tip I'll give you is I like to pick a small secondary target just a little bit in front of my in front of the golf ball here um, just to give you a really good short target in front of yourself so you can just aim that golf ball right towards that target and then hopefully go ahead and just advance that golf ball. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit this golf shot and hopefully get it back out into play. Oh, come on. <laughs> can I use that shot? So I did clip that little branch there on the left, but the, you can see I really kept that club low to the ground through impact and didn't have a full finish. And I was able to probably advance that ball 140, 150 yards. Well, this is pretty normal shot for me, actually. I find myself here often. You should often. be used to this. Yeah, I am pretty used to this. That's not bad. It wasn't wow. the prettiest, but it's effective. They don't all have to be pretty, man. He got it back in play. That's, that's the main thing. I'll take it. That started off so well. Yeah, this got it out. Is there a bunker up there? Yeah, I believe there is, yeah. Sorry, bad news. I'll just say right now, there's a better than one in three chance you're going to hit a tree here right now. <laughs> With my club or the ball? No, the ball. One in three chance. Here we go. Oh, you weren't going to hit a tree. Oh, my goodness. Did you hit that 16 or 17 yards? Like. Go for it. Oh my God. That was the prettiest one executed. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? Right? You know what? It's back in the short grass, and that was our kind of our number one priority with this golf shot. Get it back in play, and we'll try and make a birdie now. And I didn't hit a tree. I think you owe me $30. I didn't say I bet. That's what she I bet. <laughs> That's what I'm taking with it. All right. Well, we're going to take a quick break first. We'll come back and play with the rest of the first hole on the Pro Am Golf Show brought to you by SLA. Adjusting, improving, adapting, growing. SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving is ready to work with you. Since 1985, SLH has built a reputation for being tough enough to handle any job, just like the tough Albertans we work for. Oil field hauling, pile driving, crane and picker services, with branches in Slave Lake, Wabaska, Whitecourt, and Atchison. We've got you covered. Call today. Built to last. SLH. One of golf's greatest getaways is in your very own backyard, the Quarry Golf Club. Come enjoy 27 holes right along the River Valley. The brand new clubhouse can host any event up to 300 people. Tournaments, Christmas parties, business meetings, we've got you covered. Visit thequarryedmonton.com. 
Turn to the golf tournament specialist for your company or charity event. The Ranch Golf and Country Club has perfected the art of making your day a success. Visit theranchgolf.com for bookings. Welcome back to the Pro-Am Golf Show, brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. Today we're at the beautiful Cougar Creek Golf Resort just west of Edmonton with race car driving legend, Alex Tagliani. That's pretty good. Yes, that's good. And on top of that, <laughs> you're putting me on the hill, so it makes me look even better on it's the show. It's a pedestal. We're putting you on a pedestal. <laughs> if I get onto your height, that's what happens. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just here on an island. Yes, yeah. <laughs> all right, well, after the first shots, we're all safe-ish. You have a bunker shot. Struds and I are on the fairway, but we're still a ways away from the pin, so a lot can happen here. Let's play out the rest of the first hole, and it's brought to you by Pro Star Well Service. All right, Tags, out of the old uh, bunker. Let's see what you got, buddy. Yes, great rookie shot, right? Real men wear black. Oh! oh that's a good one. Kind of by the cart path, but... Always finds the see. asphalt, this guy. Long ways to go here, Meg. Do you have ah. this club in your, in your bag? That's all right. Oh, don't go in the sand. Yeah, that's all I'm right. okay with that. Just a yeah. chip and a putt. I'll just chip this thing on, then we can go find your guys' balls. Do you have enough, uh, like, do you even have the shot in your bag? I think so. If I just have to perform it. Cool. Come around. <laughs> Too straight. A lot of talk about me laying up, and oh, then you God. go right back into the trees. Just, I gotta, the new swing's still evolving, right? Like me and Tiger Woods. Okay, Ricky, Bobby. Show us what you got. <laughs> <laughs> You've been waiting for that one too, hey? Well, that is very bad. <laughs> it's not even accurate. But you're closer. You're it's, much closer. Yeah, you advance yeah. the ball. Wow. <laughs> that was really good. Wow. Very good shot. That Look at awesome. this guy. That's, That's that might be the shot of the day. I lift the ball off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Wow. Oh, this is my new club. I need to play with a pitching wedge. Yeah, yeah. the whole round. I'm not sure if you heard when we were introducing you, but we were talking about how you recently lapped the field. I'm sure that you didn't hear it because it was a little loud in your car. Yes. But can you tell us about that experience and just what the odds are that you can actually lap the entire field in going on to win a competition? Well, I think you need to have a bit of luck, even though, you know, the car was right and, you know, we had a pretty good race. I think, you know, in racing, you know, people, you know, sometimes underestimate the fact that, you know, like, drivers start, you know, and they're, it's not an individual sport, right? It's a team sport. So the machine has a lot to do with your result. Our car was pretty good from the get-go, but we had 266 laps out of 300 on the green. So there was no caution. And every else that had a car that was, you know, a little bit loose or understeer and had issues with it, they didn't have the opportunity to come in the pits and fix it. They had to live with, you know, a pretty tough car to drive. And our car just stayed very consistent. So we put all, all that together and uh, long runs on, on the green and, and we were able to uh, just basically you know run fast and never slow down and uh, everybody else that were kind of in the way for for, for the number 18 car wow. <laughs> why did you decide on race car driving uh, I, actually i was playing hockey when i was like young obviously like um, you know national sport and in quebec i was you know playing in a team and I guess I never grew up and I start, I, you know, <laughs> being small, you know, <laughs> the more you, <laughs> the more you uh, try to get up the, the ranks, you yeah. know, like uh, the tougher it gets. So I decided to choose a sport that fitted perfectly for a small guy and uh, racing car and cockpit was seemed to be good. Now, actually, um, my dad was a mechanic and I was uh, going into his shop ev after every, every time at school and I was working with him. And then my granddad bought me this little go-kart. And then when it came into the house, the only thing that I could think of is just, you know, getting it ready and just be on track. And I was just living to be in that little go-kart and uh, my family saw that uh, I had a passion for it. That's cool. Here we are at Meg's second layup of the day. Yeah, don't go in the trees. Of this hole. <laughs> 
Oh, Get not up too there. shabby. Oh, yeah. You guys can live with it. A lot of restraint. Yeah, very good. Nice shot, actually. Thanks. Let's see where you are, I'm buddy. fine. I'm fine. I'm right there. Flop shot over the sand. Oh. Tight pin. Someone's going to like that it. That looks good. Wow. Someone's wow. Someone's going to wow. like it. That's just how it's done, guys. Nicely done. That was a really nice shot. Thank you, Alex. For me, that means a lot. All right, we just saw him chip. Can he putt? He's a quick learner, this guy. Quick learner. Ah. Oh. Loves the speed, this guy. Ah. Wow, two. Both of you guys are out there. His stick handling session, eh? That looks good. Ooh. Good, very good. Oh, I was That's afraid it was going to go straight nailed out. It. You <laughs> absolutely nailed it. All right. Well done. It took me a long right. time, but it's in the hole. It's in the <laughs> hole. That's what's important. <laughs> Bit of a knee knocker here, just to stay competitive, Meg. I need to make this. You do. Pressure. Keep the pressure on. Yes. Oh, wow. Just caught it. Just nice one. Go. For the win. Boom. Oh, and he wow. does it. And he was so sure about it, too. That's, That's awesome. The hole. I didn't see that happen. Mental, I've mental seen strength. Your before. I've improved. Well done. All right, Strudwick wins hole number one. We're going to go meet up with Ryan one more time and talk about this beautiful golf course. I now have the head professional, Ryan Doucette, all to myself. I'd like to take some tips, but let's talk about this great, great course. The course is in incredible shape this year, isn't it? Yeah, you know, it's probably as good as I've seen it over the last five or six years. We had an early start this year, and it was in great shape from the start. Now, you guys made some changes over the winter as far as uh, in the side the clubhouse. We did, yeah. We actually did a uh, did a reno in the restaurant, uh, in our main hallway, and in the golf shop as well. So definitely a fresh look for our, our clients, and so far the... Uh, uh, everybody's been pretty excited about seeing the new look. Now that follows up with some uh, tournaments because you guys do a lot of tournaments out here. Nice layout actually for tournaments as well. It really is. You know what? We're obviously a little ways from the city, but uh, people kind of like uh, you know heading out here. It's a great natural setting. There's no houses on the golf course, so sure. you know what? You know what? <laughs> yeah. We really do host a lot of great events out here. Lots of charity and company tournaments, and uh, actually still looking for a few dates here in September. So if anybody's looking for tournaments, we definitely got some great dates in, in September. What's your favorite hole in this course? I gotta know. You know what? I would say our 15th hole okay. is. Is, is my favorite. Uh, I know we played it last year uh, yeah, sure. on the Prom Golf Show. Uh, tough tee ball, uh, great downhill approach, water on the left-hand side. But you know what, there's, there's a lot of great ones, but 15 would be my favorite out here. All right, thank you for this. Awesome, thanks for coming out, guys. Adjusting, improving, adapting, growing. SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving is ready to work with you. Since 1985, SLH has built a reputation for being tough enough to handle any job, just like the tough Albertans we work for. Oil field hauling, pile driving, crane and picker services. With branches in Slave Lake, Wabasca, Whitecourt, and Atchison, we've got you covered. Call today. Built to last. SLH. Northern Bear is Edmonton's premier golf experience. This Jack Nicklaus course is perfect for any tournament or function. Be a part of the Bear, offering a wide variety of memberships and passes. Book now at northernbeargolf.com. Gantork is the solution to your bolting problems. With the largest inventory of bolting products in Canada, we have what you need to work smarter, not harder. Cantork will get you back to work faster with quick turnarounds on repairs and service. Rent it buy it, whatever the job needs. Founded and headquartered in Edmonton and made by people who care. Visit us in store or online at cantork.com. Torque it easy with Cantork. Problem solved. Welcome back to the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. Today we're at the Cougar Creek Golf Resort with race car driver Alex Tagliani. After one hole, not surprisingly, I'm leading, but you guys still have two holes to pick it up. So let's play the second hole now brought to you by Cougar Paint and Collision. You can put a death grip on this, on this challenge with a nice shot here. And I oh, did it. Come oh, on. Kick right. Made Kick right, little lady. Oh, 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 man, someone's in the zone today. 
Ooh. That's all right. Up there. Yeah. That's an easy chip, me. Alex. Easy chip. I buddy. have issue with aiming, I guess. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. part of it. We'll blame that I on need Ryan to go this from way. River Creek too. Yeah. <laughs> Not a lot of green to work with, Meg. Someone's in it pretty tight. Oh. Look how high those balls there. Not too bad. That needs a kick right, but it might, it might be pretty good. Might be too good. much club. Oh, jeez. Need a big chip here to get tight. And it's not an awkward stance. No. Ooh. That one got away from you. Hold on. Hold on. Grow you know, a beard. I took about Grow 12 beard. really good practice ba chips. Basically, Meg oh, is out of the hole. May as well go to the next hole. How do you figure? You're out of this, because I'm tapping that in for two, and Tags will probably put his in for three. <laughs> yeah, let's see this first. OK, let's do it. Now, you've been racing for a long time, and you've had the, uh, I guess, good fortune of trying the different types of cars. What's that like jumping back from different types? It's a pretty big challenge. Obviously, um, you know, like IndyCar, you know, has a lot of downforce, very lightweight. One technique of driving, NASCAR, heavier, smaller tires. Um, you need to push the car without overdriving it. So it's like a fine line between, you know, an artistic way of driving, but also you have to be like just pushing it to the limit to try to get the lap time out. But sometimes when you're in the car, you might feel good because it looks really aggressive but the lap time is not there. So the balance and you know, our focus I need to be to try to get everything out of the car is, is what's really challenging. Why did you decide to switch to NASCAR? Well, you know, I mean, racing is a very different sport than any other sport that, that I know of. I mean, sponsorship, you know, like all the money that you need to get to your sport is, is very important. So when I find uh, an association with EpiPen and I have, you know, severe fruit allergy myself, and we created this, this program across the country, uh, they wanted a Canadian-based series that was going to represent, you know, their, their platform and, and their promotion. So, um, you know, the NASCAR Canada series was, was the, the logical step for us to create that platform. And, um, and it's good for me because it allows me to have a little bit of downtime as well for a couple of races in the U.S. And I'm always free for the Indianapolis 500. So it was a, kind of a perfect, uh, perfect fit. Can you teach me this bump and run thing? I think I could have used it. Yeah. That looks good. I like it. I'm gonna really like that one. Look at this guy. Curling in there. Oh! oh. <laughs> that was what a better. shot. This is the most high Boom. fives we've ever done in the Boom. episode. Unbelievable. That's a gimme. I'm gonna give you that. I'm gonna give it to you. We, we have to give a shout out to Ryan, the pro here. Yes. He, yeah. I, I listen to all his tips from A to Z. I've been throwing him under the bus yeah. this whole time. It's yeah. about time we pop yeah. his tires. You're a good learner. Yeah. You're not. That's yeah. why you're off the green still. My bad. That was all a right. good qualifying lap right there. <laughs> That's a gimme. It's perfect. I don't know how I feel about this one because this is for the push. Before you go, Meg, um, if you're gonna play like this, I'd like you to get it earlier in practice because this is embarrassing. <laughs> but go ahead. Thanks for laughing. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay silent on that one because I feel like karma's gonna even that one out. Okay, go ahead. There it is. I don't know how that stayed out. Short. Oh, oh. oh my God, that was in too. Oh, God. Hey, just so you know though, there's a body of water over there that you could throw your ball yeah, into. No, in I've got a new it. approach. I've calmed down since that episode. See, just like that. Knee knocker. Easier. No, no, no problem. Calm down. Confidence. Calm down. Confidence. Uh, the anger's out. <laughs> I've wringed the anger out of my life. <laughs> Thank goodness. All Can't right. Don't play golf with anger. <laughs> Don't play angry. Don't drive angry either. Right? Yeah, exactly. No, no. Stradwick is still one up as we finish out the second hole. We're going to take a quick break and play the third hole on the Pro Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH. Adjusting, improving, adapting, growing. SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving is ready to work with you. Since 1985, SLH has built a reputation for being tough enough to handle any job, just like the tough Albertans we work for. Oil field hauling, pile driving, crane and picker services, with branches in Slave Lake, Wabasca, Whitecourt, and Atchison. We've got you covered. Call today. Built to last. SLH.
One of golf's greatest getaways is in your very own backyard, the Quarry Golf Club. Come enjoy 27 holes right along the River Valley. The brand new clubhouse can host any event up to 300 people. Tournaments, Christmas parties, business meetings, we've got you covered. Visit thequarryedmonton.com. Turn to the golf tournament specialist for your company or charity event. The Ranch Golf and Country Club has perfected the art of making your day a success. Visit theranchgolf.com for bookings. Welcome back to the Pro-Am Golf Show, brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. Today we're just west of Edmonton at the beautiful Cougar Creek Golf Resort with race car driving legend Alex Tagliani. After two holes, Strudwick still has a one hole Hello. lead. This is a chance for you to go for the green on this one. There's a lot of water in between. I'm expecting big things from you and I on this one. Not so much from this tall drink of water. There we go. Water, 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 <laughs> water, water. Time to play the third hole, brought to you by SP Coring. There's a lot of targets out there with those birds. Oh, nice oh one, I buddy. like the tick on that one. Grass a little is better good. contact than before. Really Very good, good contact. Yeah, it's okay. Good yeah. Okay. I like it. Put Safe. the pressure on me. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Meg. Okay. I just want grass. Wow. Good one. Grass is good. It's good. Struds, you're up. Go for yeah. that green, buddy. Yeah, that's the plan. You did it on the show last year. Yeah. Can you do it again this year? That's the question. Then he three putted for par. There it is. That is deep. Get up there. Oh my God, that's out of the park. Where is it? Oh, oh man. That's deep. It's just that to the left of the green. You really haven't done much at all this show, eh, Alex? She's basically been in the back of the pack. A lot of practice shots on True. Know. Good point. That's not bad. Like, really good. Not bad at all. Right on the it's back. Okay. Right on the back of the green. Pretty decent. Oh, that'll do. Nice shot. That'll do. For a guy that doesn't play golf, you're a pretty good golfer. Yeah. Has he been hustling? Not so bad, time? not so bad. I'm, I'm actually surprised, surprising myself. Take a suit to an event, Indianapolis 500. I mean, people love this. What's it like just being a part of that whole event? Uh, it's very unique. I mean, the Indianapolis 500 event, you know, you never get used to it. Um, there's uh, almost uh, 500,000 people in one bowl. So <laughs> when, you, uh, when you walk through Gasoline Alley in the morning and your, your car's on the grid and you're just watching the whole event unfold, like, you know, from 8 o'clock in the morning to just before you get strapped in in the car, you feel very privileged to be there, first of all. And, and all the other legends that I've participated in, you know, AJ Foyt, uh, Mario Andretti, and, and all the guys that are always there every year, yeah. But then when you sit in the car and then you just go for the parade lap and the track looks different. It's like just crowded of people, it looks narrower. And then you see everybody like around the track and you're, uh, you know, you get goosebumps. Uh, for me anyway, like every year, I never, never get used to it. I'm always so impressed and surprised by uh, how the event is and how big it is. I like golfing Alex. He's very relaxed and funny. <laughs> what is race day Alex like? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, if you're my friend or my family, you don't expect too much, you know, on race day. Yeah. You know, I mean, they know it. They don't judge me by it because I'm in my zone. And um, but uh, like we were talking before, you know, I just had a, a, a baby and she was a month by the time, you know, we were racing at the 500. And uh, I really liked the Alex that I was the morning of the race because I was holding her and you know, it was kind of like a nice way to, to be distracted and not focusing just so much on the car and the race that was going to happen in 30 minutes, right? And uh, she was a great way for me to just um, get myself relaxed, you know, and not think about the car for, for, for that, that amount of time. So, um, but really just before the race, it's, it's all the adrenaline and all the, um, the nervousness and the stress that you've been going through for the whole month of May. 
Um, actually, when you're in the car and you're driving, you're good, right? I mean, it's not like you're not you're in your office, you know, you feel good. Um, but it's before that it's, it's very nerve wracking for me. Yeah. Alex and I are there in two. Okay, that's pretty good. I was here in one. <laughs> Don't overshoot it. Get up there, Short. my little friend. Get up there. Release. <laughs> little Release bit. up a hill. That's not bad. Eh, I'll live with it. All right, let's do it. Try to get involved in this game a little bit. <laughs> I would just like to get this one close. This is yeah, it's not easy. Quite the lie. A couple bends. Slow down. You might want to take a second reading of that one. You're out of this hole. Big putt for you. Oh, want to give me the read. That is a tough one. Good try. I really needed you on that one. <laughs> Finally, I have a birdie putt. You've been waiting for this your whole life. Here we go. Hold on. Ooh. Bold. A little bit bold. I don't want to leave her short, but that's a little bit too deep. For par. There it is. Aim at the ball. That's bad. This game's hard, buddy. Yeah. Yes, it's very it's hard. It's a hard game. Come on, Meg. Get in there close. Get your bogey. Par. Wow. Wow. What a comeback. Like Good a job. knife to the heart. Good job. Like a <laughs> knife to the heart. You have never had a more important putt in your life. No, that's probably true. Find out what you're made of in moments like this. And your first par. I don't like it. Shoot. Wow. Bang. Save the day, Thank bud. Thank you, guys. Champion. Save the day. Thank you very much. Thank you. I was afraid. You know you <laughs> Good like job. I didn't see that happening. You know you I like really that thought that I might have a win on this show. Champions show up when you need them. Full pressure. I've got nothing else to say. Is, uh, Congratulations. Well, all right. Well, we'll take a break from all your glory right now. We're going to bring in Marnie from Glow Juicery with an ambassador for Glow Juice Read, Jamie yeah, Soleil, also I alumni. I miss you guys. I miss you too, alumni yeah, of the Pro-Am Golf You're Show welcome. from last season. We're hooking you up. You earned this thank today, you. Thank you. Jason. Just that was amazing. Everywhere. And you as well, Meg. Thank you. Awesome. For showing them everything. It's cold. <laughs> I really, I did leave you the really way I did. Like. Yeah. Yeah, our cue to come in and visit with you was, so when Jason misses this putt, and it didn't happen, yeah. so. Yeah. <laughs> what? That's yeah. what you guys are talking about behind yeah, my back. Yeah, we were saying that, but no, that's it's rude. Fine. No, you, I would never, well, I would uh, never that, hope that you would make something. I'm glad yeah. I scored it. <laughs> All right, Marnie, what do you think is the shot of the show today? Oh, if shot of the show. One. Alex, fueled by our juice, yes. right? <laughs> it, right after I pour down one full <laughs> glow juice, yeah. I end up getting the best and shot of the day. And he finally got the right the club. Snow. Pitching, pitching wedge, I, I would have hooked you up sooner. But okay. I was uh, I was Team Alex for a little while there. You come again next show. We'll okay? come again. All right. Well, we're gonna we'll dive into these while we take a look at the shot of the show. Wow. <laughs> that was really good. Wow. Very good shot. That look was at awesome. this guy. That's, That's that might be the shot time of the day. I lift the ball off the ground. I'm really happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you to hold this, yep. Alex. You got it. Did you have a good time today? Yes, fantastic. Thanks for having me. Thank really you so much awesome. for coming out. On behalf of Century Vision Care and Maui Jim, oh, wow. we got a brand new set of shades for you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, thank so you. thank you very much Thanks. for coming. We also want to thank Cougar Creek for having us out here and Ryan for the tip. Beautiful golf course. You should definitely come check it out. And thank you for watching. You can catch us every Saturday right here on CTV Edmonton. And if you miss any of our episodes, they're all online at proamgolfshow.ca. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Pro Am Golf Show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Sometimes I just go, Hah! just so I make noise. At least I have a job after after my job. Yeah. Call Uber. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. <laughs> I like it. I like the ginger. I can't chug. I like ginger. There's <laughs> really a bit of a height difference between you two, eh? There we go. I feel like I'm in an adult car seat right now. <laughs>